Hi, my name is Hans and I'm a Tokyo-based DP. I recently had the pleasure of testing the new FX3 with the Atomos Ninja 5. Sony's FX3 and the Atomos Ninja 5 make a very interesting camera package for filmmakers. I usually work with high-end cinema equipment where everything is designed around the user. Everything on the FX3 feels at the right place. This button here is very intuitive. It reacts really well. When you have just the grip here for like small rigs, it's really, really nice. The Ninja 5 screen has a really good contrast and color accuracy. The 5-inch screen feels just right for a compact setup. Definitely something we don't talk about enough is playback loading time. The Atomos Ninja 5 was really reactive and had lots of features to support exposure and framing. The FX3 offers a compact form factor while using the same color science as the rest of Sony's cinema line. I was really impressed with the 15 stops of dynamic range offered by the camera. Being able to record in ProRes RAW allows me to use the full potential of the sensor. The Atomos Ninja 5 and Sony's FX3 really feels like the perfect compact camera setup, and I can't wait to see what filmmakers around the world are going to shoot with it.